I'm Ramon, and welcome back to RC Modify. Well, in front of us, we have the AK-917 from Arlarlo. And when I heard this kit was coming out, nobody was probably more excited than I was. I'm a huge 917 fan from um, the 1970s Le Mans era. So um, I was really excited to, to order these and get these. And I actually have more cars coming. Um, I think the chassis is a really good chassis, being that it uses one eighth scale components. So I figured I could use the chassis for for other kits. I mean, to uh, put different bodies on and um, things like that. So in front of us, we have the brushless metal version, the carbon fiber um, brushless version, which has everything. This is the highest one they make, and we have the carbon fiber roller. And we have one of their motors that I wanted to talk about. I am not doing a full unboxing because plenty of people have done that already. And you guys already know what kind of comes in the kit. So um, let me um, bring the camera in so we can go over these and show you some of the things that I did not think I was getting. All right. Okay, let's start off with the body. On this side, we have the brushless roller. Here is the brushless carbon full fat car. And here is the metal brushless car. Um, what I wasn't expecting was on my brushless roller, it actually came with the fan. And that was one of my biggest hangups. I couldn't stand the look if you look at the brushless metal metal version or just a metal version in general, you get the deformed looking piece of plastic fan here. And when you looked at the um, Rolarlo's um, spreadsheet, the only one on the spreadsheet that said that it actually came with a fan was the full brushless carbon car. Now, um, I mean, for speed runs, it probably doesn't make a difference. And if it does, you can actually just put tape on it. But the fan, the actual fan looks so much better than this deformed little piece of plastic they have here. But if you think that's going to hinder your speed, I would just put tape on it. But but if you get the, the carbon fiber roller, you should be getting a fan. I did. Let's take the covers off. Or let's take the bodies off. Hopefully, all right, okay. Okay, so here's the body of the carbon fiber roller and you can see the fan is wired. So it has all the exact same wiring as the brushless carbon fiber car that comes already powered with the electronics. And another thing I wanted to point out was on the roller, on the roller, if you look closely, 
you actually have, if you look closely right there, you actually have the wiring in place for your exhaust lights. So your so you have all the exact same wiring that you have in the full brushless carbon fiber car. You get everything. You get the wheels, you get the gearing, which the gearing between the carbon fiber and the metal car are different. So you get everything you get except for the motor, uh, controller, and the uh, receiver. And, um, of course, battery. You get no battery. So, but whoever's getting the carbon fiber roller, you're getting a pretty good car. And here's the body of the brushless, um, the brushless car. And you can see no motor. If you wanted to put a fan in, you'd have to cut that out. You might be able to find a hole saw <laughs> and do it that way. Or you can try to do it with an X-Acto knife. Another thing they did was um, they put these little um, flaps in the back. On after they put the plastic wrap so to get all that plastic off you're gonna have to pop off these little plastic winglets I need a bigger table. Okay, so now... All right, so here side by side, we have the roller and the brushless, already powered carbon fiber cars. And um, you could see everything is um, pretty much the, um, identical, except for this is the red car and this is the blue car. So the blue has orange internals, but you get everything exactly the same. I did see that a lot of the guys trying to do speed runs when they're using the the straps to hold the battery. The car's so low, it appears that the straps might be hitting the ground. If I was you guys, I would if you guys are gonna do the speed runs, I would use um that that loop velcro in place and put it on your battery and on the actual chassis instead of using those um body straps or the battery straps because um you're gonna Limit your clearance by using them. So here it is, carbon fiber with and without electronics. And here's all your wiring for your rear lights. Now here's the brushless metal version versus the carbon fiber version, brushless. And here you'll notice there's a difference in tire size. Your tires are 67 millimeter on the brushless versus 65 millimeter on the metal version. And, and, um, on my footage when I had it on the table, you will notice the 
67 size tires fill the gaps a lot better. It's a way better looking car. These tires look, the 65s on the metal look a little bit undersized. The motor in the carbon fiber is a 3660, 3900 KV. And in the metal brushless, you get a 3650, 4300 KV. The ESC in the brushless carbon fiber is 120 amps versus a 60 amp ESC in the metal version. And your spur gear and your pinion both are metal in the carbon fiber version. Now, in the extra spur gears that they give you with the carbon fiber version, those are nylon for the spur. Um, and I think they give you an extra metal pinion in there. So you would be replacing the metal in the carbon fiber one with a nylon if you wanted to change the size. Now in the metal version, it's hard to keep track of between metal and carbon fiber, but in the metal version, your gears are all plastic. They're all nylon. Um, that, that's what they provided. So I'm gonna go grab a scale I want to weigh these to see what one weighs versus the other. I put a block on here so I can clear the tires, but I zeroed out the scale. So the scale is zeroed out. And your brushless carbon fiber car weighs in at... 2,245 grams or 4 pounds 15.2 ounces now I'm weighing these with the battery provided which they both use the same battery well wow, look at that your brushless metal version is actually, I don't know if you can see that scale, but that was the scale, not me. <laughs> Your brushless metal version is actually lighter. That weighed in at 2,059 grams. Yep, 2,059 grams or 4 pounds, 8.6 ounces. So that's 4 pounds, 8.6 ounces. Now, this does have a smaller motor and a smaller ESC. It has no fan and no exhaust lights. So that could be the difference. <laughs> All right, and we're just gonna weigh the plain old carbon fiber roller with nothing in it, just to see what that weighs. Okay, the roller by itself weighs 1,547 grams. Or 3.6, 3 pounds, 6.6 .6 ounces. Yeah, I did fail to mention one of the reasons why I was so hung up on the fan. 
I my background I used to build model cars growing up. I'm like details. I like things to look good. So um <laughs> looking at that versus that <laughs> you see what I mean. Um yeah. I I really can't stand that. I I did order fans cuz I have uh, other cars coming. Like I said I'm going to use um I'm probably going to use those to build rally cars or something else, 110 scale rally cars. I have a ton of Tamiya kits that Tamiya really isn't going to be able to produce the speeds that these cars will, but I can always take those Tamiya bodies, hopefully, if they're the same wheelbase and swap them over or build different cars out of these. So that's what are my plans. Um... Also, I must have been one of the first 200 to order because I got the free set of um, wings. But like I said, I just got my cars. <laughs> so um, there was a delay in the shipping. But I did get the little side wings. I ordered one of their motors. I ordered the 2830 KV. Well, it's the 3670 BT. 2830 kV motor and one thing I wanted to point out with this was um there is no flat spot on the shaft so I don't know if that's going to be an issue with um your your pinion coming loose but I do not like that there is no flat spot on the shaft apart from that the motor looks pretty good here's the back side of it and there's the front and it looks like it has Kind of um, some fins here, some cooling fins. So I guess that would be kind of like a built-in fan. But there it is. No flat spot. Okay, so we covered um, the lights. Your brushless roller. <laughs> I have to take another look. Brushless roller does come with your fan. And it does come with your exhaust lights. Which... To me, that was a plus. Now, I don't know how you're going to get the pops to work. Uh, I have a multi-channel radio that has a lot of functions. I might be able to figure it out. Or you can get their controller. I don't know if they have a separate... Con uh, if their light controller, I think, is built into the receiver. And if you do that, then you have to use their radio. But you do get all the same lights as the full fat version. Uh, brushless version. So you get... Everything except for the motor and ESC and receiver and radio. So so the brushless carbon, I mean the roller carbon, excellent. I love it. The brushless metal, it comes a little bit stripped down. I don't like the the way the wheels look. The they like the offsets off and um, they're smaller. They don't fill out the wheel well as much. And the fan is um, not my favorite. That fake little deformed piece of plastic, I don't like. But other than that, I think Alarlo made an excellent product. I love it. I um, I think uh, one tenth with one eighth scale components with your diffs and all being one eighth scale is uh, it's very good, very good platform to use for other things. I would definitely buy. More of these chassis, like actually I did. Uh, they'll be here. I probably ordered another four cars. <laughs> um, but that being said, there there is actually there is another one ten scale car that I can think of that has one eighth scale components. It's a belt drive. It's called a Dragnalo. Uh, I have that. I never put it together. It's somewhere in here, and. That thing's a rocket. I've seen videos of that thing. That thing is ridiculous. I don't know what would be faster, a Dragnalo or the Arlarlo. Uh, that'd be a nice video to make. <laughs> Maybe one day. I got a lot of projects. Uh, coming up, I actually bought an X-Max. And I am going to be doing a wrap on the body. Uh, the wrap is from Dark Side, So I have that coming up. And I also have a... 
Creighton, which I am putting a notorious body on it. So it'll be the notorious Creighton Stein when I'm done because I also have a bunch of other parts. I have the wheels and everything from the notorious, which I'm doing that. So I have a lot of projects coming up. I have to still get to doing the diff, the center diff in my in my um, Creighton, one-fifth scale Creighton. And, and I just the other day, which that video might come out before this, just the other day I put a 22 pinion in my Asuga. So I need to take that out to the beach, see how that's running now, see if it's faster. And I did fix the broken CVD from um, crashing into my wife's foot. So 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 that car's back together. Okay, well, lots, lots of good stuff coming up. Guys, please keep on coming back. Keep on watching. Please uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.